Hello guys. So in this video, we will learn about annotation and annotation is basically a type of the feature class that allow you to create a customized text instead of using the labels. So for example, when you enable the label for any layer, so let's work on Orange County cities and we will hide all the other layers. When I go to Orange County cities and I enable the labels, you will see that we will have our labels on the map, but any changes you do for this label class, it will apply to all the labels together. So in this video and in the next video, our goal is to create a map like this. So in this video, we will learn how we can create our labels using annotations to look exactly like that with this lines. And after that, in the next video, we will create our symbology to look exactly like how this map looks like using the average house price for each city. So right now we will see just how can we create a new annotation feature class and how can we use it. And then after that we will convert this labels to annotation class so we make it look exactly like this. So in order to create a new annotation class you need to go to the catalog and inside any geodatabase or feature dataset you right click and say new feature class and here we will call it annotation. Uh, give it alias the same name and on the type you will choose annotation and we will click finish and that will create annotation feature class for us that we will add it to the map and see how can we add text annotation using this feature class so now we have our annotation created for us let's go back to our map and add it here Say OK. And then we will see how can we edit it. You edit annotation same way you edit any feature class by going to edit and you select create. And here in the create we will select annotation and we will start typing our annotation text. Here we will say for example here is my annotation text. And we will see what is the options we have here in order for us to change our annotation. And here is the first option to create a horizontal annotation. So anywhere you click on the map, you will create a text using this annotation and it will show this text. As you see here, it's a small. So the order to change the color, the size or the type of your text, you go here and you say, I want my text to be, let's say 26 and I want the color to be red and you can make it bold or regular here and you can change the font family right here as well. And here, as the options to align your text based on your mouse location. So for example, if I click here right now, you will see that the text on the top right corner of my mouse. If I choose on the left side, you will see that the text change it to the left side to my mouse. And here you align up, down or in the middle. So for example, if I choose this one, you will see that the text is on the top of my mouse location. So when I click here, I will create my new text and I can click anywhere to create my text. Let's make the font a little bit more bigger and you can see that your text is bigger right now. So let's put the alignment to the center. So we have our text on the center of our mouse. And the next option we have here is straight annotation. And this one you draw a line and your annotation will be on this line. And once you double click somewhere, you will create your annotation with an angle or along a line. And here you can create a curve. So we can click one here and we click another one here and we can do our curve so we can make our text curved. And double click to finish it. And the next option we have here is follow a feature. And this one, if you want to have your annotation on a border on a certain feature around the feature, you choose a feature, let's say for example, this one, and you will see that your annotation is following the border of this specific feature. And this one can be used if you want to have uh, like naming next to the border. So you have it along the feature or maybe a line. Maybe you want to align your annotation to follow a certain line feature and then you want to replace it anywhere. You just move your mouse and you will see it's moving with you and then you can click anywhere to have it uh, set for you. And you can do the same with any other feature. Once you click on any feature on your map, your annotation text will follow this border of this feature. So let's cancel this one by press escape on the keyboard. 
and the next option we have here is to create a leader and the leader line when you choose it you just choose where you want to create your line and once you click on any place you will see that there is a line is created for this feature and this is one of the things that we will enable in order for us to create a map look like this so this line right here that point to the label is actually a leader line and that's what we will create in our map so that's how you can create the annotations and how you can customize your annotation also you can edit it by go to modify and on modify you choose annotation and you can select any text and you can customize it by changing the size by changing the rotation and when you right click you see here we have options so here you can say follow this feature and you follow this feature by right click here and say follow this feature so you enable your text to follow this feature same thing we did with this feature right here but you do that for editing the features so we will press escape to cancel this we will right click again make sure you select it and you have this box in, right, in order to right click and see this options and here you can add a curve for your text so if we chose this one it will be curved and you can change the curve from here uh, you can also right click and say I want to make it straight again and it will return to be straight you can also right click and say add leader and here you will add your leader as you see here it's a little bit small but there is a line that you can drag and point to any other place on the map so you have your leader and that's what we will do when we create our labels here uh, and then also you have stack and stack will stack this text on top of each other and you can right click and say on stack to return it back to normal and here you have convert to multiple parts and this option is good if you want to customize your text in a more so you can make it bigger and then you can drag every single text and put it however you want like this here is my annotation text so you see you have a lot of options to customize your text however you want so most of these options doesn't exist with the labels and that's why if you want to customize your text in a more advanced way or you want to change your text position or size or color individually you use annotation in order to do that and here you can convert it back to a single part so everything will go back to normal and the last thing here we have is to flip the text you can flip it upside down so for example this text right here we can flip it because no one will be able to read it like that so we can right click here and say flip and you will see that now it's readable and it looks fine so here you can finish the text or cancel the changes you made so that's how you can create annotation feature class what is annotation feature class will do to you and how can you create new annotations how can you customize it and how can you edit it also when you work on annotation you will see that you have a tab here called appearance and this one you can customize your entire layer for the annotation by adding minimum scale or maximum scale changing the transparency so for example here as you see we can change the transparency also you can enable the swipe so you can hide all the labels inside your map because this option here it applies to all the labels on the map and this option you use it if you have a lot of labels on your map that it looks so busy and you want to see what's below it you can use the swipe so you can see what's below this labels temporary and here you can change the symbology and you have the other options the appearance for any other layer so that's it for how you can create annotation class so let's see right now how can we make our annotation to look exactly like that so here in this map we have the name of the city and below the city name there is the average house price with a dollar sign and southern separator so we want our label to look exactly like that so let's go back here let's delete this because we are not gonna use it anymore and let's focus our work right now on this layer right here so what we need to do is to go to this layer go to labeling properties and in the label properties we will customize our label to have the name and then we will add a new line using slash n and we will add the dollar sign and then plus average house price and say apply and now we have our labels looks exactly like we want it to be we have the city name and below it we have the average house price with a dollar sign and now we need to replace the labels in the right location and add a leader line to look like that 
But in order for us to do this, we need to convert these labels to annotation. So we can right click on the layer and we go to convert labels and convert labels to annotation. And here the J processing tool will open to convert labels to annotation. You keep everything the default. You don't need to change anything other than maybe the name. So we're going to change the name here to orange county underscore annotation. And we define the output location to be our feature data set right here and say OK and we just click run. Make sure there's no edits that is opened so we don't have any edits open because if we run and we didn't save the edits it will give us an error. So this will take a few seconds and then we will be able to see this labels right here as annotations. So now we have our annotation layer been created and been added to the map. Now we will start working on our annotation layer. So let's close this one, close this one, and come here. And as you see right now, the labels have been disabled automatically because it's have been replaced by the annotation layer right here. So if I hide this one, you will not see any labels. Now we can work on each text separately by going to edit and say modify. And here you choose annotation. And what we will do right now, we will go for each text and just drag it outside right click and say add leader we will drag the leader to show a line for this feature and then we will come here choose this text say make it bold and we will add a southern separator right here and that's and that's exactly how our map here looks like and you can make your text smaller by doing this so we will do the same for all the other labels we will drag them outside and right click and say add leader we will drag the leader come here choose the name make it bold and add a comma separator right here and then change the size however we want and replace it in the right location and I will do that for all the other labels So now as we see we finished our labels using annotation class to look exactly how the map here. So that's it for the annotation feature class, how can you use annotation, how can you edit it, how can you convert your uh, any layer labels to annotations and when to use annotations. You use annotations if you want to customize your labels individually or if you want to add any text on the map, curved, different colors, different styles without even having any features, points or lines or polygons. You use annotation feature class. So that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one. So we see how can we use advanced symbology so we can use the average house price to change the colors of each city in order to create the map looks exactly like this one. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.